Oh, almost ran straight into that. Wasn't really... Okay, yeah, I mean... Th that's what I get for not paying attention to where I'm going, really. Well, I'm full. Uh, I don't think you will deal quite enough damage with your hurricane attack to kill that, so... Ah, so close. You will definitely deal enough damage to kill that, though. Perfect. Perfect. That's that. Let's move out. Hardly any as, uh, excuse me, experience, but plenty of. Actually, I want to fight this, cause uh, well, I don't care about the cats, but the red beetles give me the uh, the green. Okay, I keep getting the damn name wrong. They gave me the green crystals, the wind stuff, which I need in order to upgrade my doohickey. You, you see, it's all very technical. Uh, are you... Uh, let's give it a shot. Not white, but I bet you can kill this with dual strike. The critical hit helped a lot. Okay then. Damn straight you do, Estelle. Okay, so, you know, let's, like... Oh! And there's another beetle. Well, I mean, I kind of want to fight the beetles anyway. I don't really want to fight anything else, though. So I really should be paying attention <laughs> to where I step. I mean, I probably should in general anyway, but still. I feel like Estelle's damage numbers are more swinging. We're good to go. Compared to Joshua. Like, Joshua's damage is much more consistent, I guess I could say it. That way. There's only one of them. Well, okay then. Hmm. Uh, this way. And there should be no more beetles after this point. But there are some cats who I want to watch out for. Also those things. There was a cat right there. And there's another one near the entrance, I think. If I remember correctly. Well, we I didn't see it. But I'm pretty sure it was there. Oh! I forgot that I had the camera facing uh, this way. Let's just uh, reorient ourselves. Okay, that's the same as when we left town. So uh, let's go. Let's do as you do. Enter the sewers because as everyone knows, the sewers are where you go to heal. Oh. To the mayor!
Who is that? Oh, it's the girl in the uniform! I see. I would never have imagined that the clock tower had such an anecdote to go with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that! With war, it's easy to speak of tragedy. But I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? We've come to deliver the object you requested. Uh, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, Estelle and Joshua, you are no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time! Let me introduce you to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Genus Royal Academy. I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Rowan region, right? Yep, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Har. I'm Estelle. And Joshua. Yep. The two of them are actually bracers. <laughs> I had them do a personal job for me. Bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom? Who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? Uh, she's been reading the pamphlet. This is such an inspiring moment! I never thought I'd run into any real bracers! <laughs> By the way, is it alright if I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. So why did you come to Roland anyway? Are you a friend of the mayor's? Nope, today is actually the first time we ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as a part of my independent studies. And although I thought he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. It does seem like he has a lot of time on his hands just to talk at people. Oh, whoops. Uh, skipped a line there, I think. Maybe we're intruding a bit? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions, I think. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. Besides, I needed the excuse. Like, this guy can just talk forever. Don't be silly. It's not like that at all. Estelle, this is a great opportunity. So how about you showing her what you brought with you? Sure, hold on a sec. Septium. A huge chunk of septium. Apparently. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all Roland citizens. Uh, what? Oh! Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. You're, sh you're a sharp one, Joshua. That's what I like about you. Also a quiet type. That's also what I like about you. Gives me more time to talk. <laughs> I intend to send an engraved ornament using this to the Queen. As a token of Roland Citizen's appreciation to her, her Majesty, who will be turning 60. Well, as citizens of Liberal, or we as citizens of Liberal, owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the royal family. I've heard that the Bracer Guild in Liberal has received support from the royal family as well. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. And can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with our very hands. And we didn't even lose it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, and what's more... Yep! <laughs> Thank you. 
Estelle has something of a reputation. Here you go, Mayor Claus. It's been faithfully delivered. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution... Into the safe it goes! Makes sense. It'll be safe and... Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, now, while this left is to have Melder's Orbal Factory, finish up the engraving! I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done! Don't hog it all to yourself when you do! Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it. Thank you for everything. But I think it's time for me to say goodbye. Uh, yeah, it's getting late-ish, right? Right? <laughs> so you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yep, that's right. School's about to begin. Oh, I see. Doing research on her vacation. There's some a dedicated student right there. And she's wearing her damn school uniform, too. Okay, maybe a little too dedicated. <laughs> I hope we meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Please have a wonderful day. What a nice girl. For looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Oh, Estelle. <laughs> I'd be correct in assuming that she's your type. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I love this. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. We're getting all excited about nothing! Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Alright, let's get pumped and knock this one out! I almost walked right past it. That would have been no good. Good work. Likes like, looks like you ran into a bit of trouble in the mine, though. I got a call from the mine. They said they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now, how about you give me a report on what happened? Okay, then. This is what happened. Uh, 1500 and plus 4 BP. Very nice. It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting. Detailing with, dealing with unexpected accidents is also a part of your mission as a bracer. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. You just leave it to us. <laughs> oh, Estelle. Well, her skills do lie in being direct anyway. All right, that's enough. Okay, this is the last job you'll be doing. For Cassius. 
You've heard of the, the liberal, liberal news. Ugh. You've heard of the liberal news, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for your news story. Maybe I should say it like that with the Japanese. No, no, that would be a bad idea. Liber, liberu. No, definitely not. Is that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? What indeed? It seems that they are looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of, dangerous pla of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera woman are both staying at the hotel. Here's a referral from the guild. Let's do it. Uh, but first... Isn't there? Oh, because I forgot to give the guy the mushroom. Let's go give him the mushroom. different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Oh, well, it's like this. Even though you knew about the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid. What? How was I supposed to know something like that would happen? Besides, a bracer's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice! Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Fess up! You had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan! A fungus caper, if you will. Er, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm gonna use it for? For cooking, of course. Well, what? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? That's why it's such a pain to deal with your country bumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the Firefly Fungus is the king of them all! This is, no doubt, the ultimate ingredient! So, pretty much what you're saying is, that it's for people with bizarre eating habits. <sighs> then again, commoners such as yourselves would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be the heavens for that. I never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. <laughs> if Joshua agrees, then you know Estelle has a point. Yeah, yeah, just take it and leave. Indeed. Okay, we did it. Whoa. Actually gonna eat it. Okay then. There we go. 700 and plus 3. No rank up. Yep. Okay, uh, on that topic, looks like there's more jobs. Lost Kitten. Fly into Ida. Cafe Terrace. She was looking for a kitten, wasn't she? 
Uh, Bracer Kill. Medium. A ferocious monster known as a Rhino Cider has been spotted on the Alez Highway. Okay then. Let's also run in here. Uh, oh! Wow! How cute is this? It looks like the townspeople have moved around. Seems there's a large piece of septium discovered in a new iode at the mine. Hmm. Who indeed? I just said the mayor, but he was all fidgety. <laughs> a mayor is a type of person who really needs to sink their teeth into the job. Right. Uh, I actually want to open up this slot. Ta-da! And uh, can I make any quartz that, that I don't have? No. That's what I need the, the, the time quartz for. Okay, well, oh, I, sh I should probably like equip something in that empty slot, right? That makes sense. Let's see, I can do defense or evasion. Okay, what if I do this? Nothing. Oh, it's because they're on different tracks. I get it. I get it. Cool. Okay, well, in that case, like, really, just what do I want? I can do... I kind of want to see what this actually gives me. TBH. So let's throw that one on. 